ok now if the user made a long click on any of this list item the contextual action mode will appear now we have to update the selection count on the toolbar using this text view if the user select or unselect these checkboxes so that is the next step for that open main activity dot java here I'm going to define some methods public void prepare selection for this method uh, we need two arguments first one is a view object second one is an integer with variable name position okay now we have to set up the click listener for the checkboxes so go to the adapter class and for the view holder class you need to implement some interfaces so implements on click listener now here you need to implement the needed methods you need to implement the on click method implement that method now we have to set the click listener for the checkbox so checkbox dot set on click listener and pass the context so when user select or unselect a checkbox this method will invoke so from this method I'm going to call a method within main activity dot java so I call the method called the prepare selection and pass the view object now we have to get the adapter position so call this method called the get adapter position okay now go to main activity dot java so if the user made some selection we have to save the selection on an array list otherwise that that means if the user unselect a checkbox uh, we have to remove the selection from the array list so here uh, we need to declare some variables to save the selection we need an array list so here I declare an array list that contains some conduct class objects I name it as selection list uh, it is an array list new array list to save the selection count uh, we have to declare some integer values declare an integer variable and initialize that one with the value 0 so if the user select or unselect a checkbox this method will invoke so first here we need to check if whether the user select or unselect a checkbox so you need to check some condition here if view here the view is an object for checkbox so cast that one into checkbox and call the method called is check that means if the user select the checkbox in that case we have to save the selection to the array list so selection list dot add and use the array list contacts and get item from the position and use this ar argument position ok now we have to update the variable counter by 1 so counter plus 1 now we need to update the text view for that here I am going to declare 
define another method public void update counter for this method we need one argument it is an integer I name it as counter here yeah, you need to check some condition if counter equal to 0 in that case we have to set some text on the counter text view counter text view dot set to text 0 item selected otherwise we have to display the selection count else counter text view dot set to text counter item selected okay so now from this method from this if loop you need to call that method update counter and pass the counter otherwise that means if the user unselect a checkbox uh, we have to remove that item from the selection list so selection list dot remove contacts dot get and pass the position this will remove the selected item from the selection list now we have to update the variable counter counter equal to counter minus 1 now call that method called update counter and pass the counter variable ok now we can test the application so run it select a virtual device ok now this now the application available on this virtual device so now I made some long click now the contextual action mode will appear uh, now I made some selection so now I select one item now you can see the counter is updated by one now I add one more selection now it is incremented by one uh, now here three items were selected so now the counter is three items were selected now I am going to unselect an item I remove an item now only two items selected now there is only one item is selected now zero items selected so now it is working fine 